Hey guys, Road Runner here. So, um, right now I'm just hanging out at the uh, community center here in the colony. We're about, this is about seven miles away from uh, Jefferson. And I'm going to be honest, I'm, gonna, I'm a little nervous, you know. California and Nevada completely shut down. Uh, last I checked from a couple days ago, 22 states have National Guard troops in them. And make matters worse, uh, Dallas County, which I, I guess by the name uh, is out in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I'm assuming, because I don't really care much of those cities. But Dallas County went completely... Uh, one of the judges, or the judge, I should say, for the county, uh, ordered for everybody in the county to s shelter in place at home. Another, so, which, if I remember correctly, you, they cannot leave. They are not allowed to leave uh, their homes unless it's essential for them to do so. So, with that being the case that's kind of nerve-wracking and it's bad enough i think it was either uh, one of the three places i think it was either in florida new york city or somewhere in cali in california uh there's now pictures and videos of tanks and i think it was actually either in new york city or florida one of the two tanks rolling in through down city streets and to make it even worse uh there was a it was either in baton rouge or Shreveport, one of the two cities over in the neighboring over in louisiana and uh the congregation over there they're not i think it was either they can't have 50 over 50 people or over a certain amount and they were over the amount they were at 300 and something people and I, I think getting close towards the end of the uh of the church meeting or whatever uh law enforcement came in and told the pastor you know if you continue to have it like this over the limit then we will have national guard come in and i who knows what would happen you know arrest all all the occupants which wouldn't surprise me you know getting fined something like that um to be honest i th again i've mentioned this before in the last what was it not maybe yeah maybe it was the last i know it was the last two videos at least where i mentioned that i believe this is just all bullshit we are in the middle of goddamn flu season or just about in and at least in the beginning of it you know the seasons are changing why is it that more let's let's look at it this way more people have died from the flu than this whole coronavirus bullshit actually now that i think about it if you put let's say okay you look at ebola i've seen the numbers on this if i remember correctly there's been more deaths on ebola there's been more deaths on the H1N1 uh, virus or flu, whatever the hell that one was. There's a lot more deaths on other flus that we've had within the last decade or two. Yet, all of a sudden, now we have this new virus. And it just, the way everybody's acting just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. Y'all can call me a crazy conspiracy conspiracy theorist. It don't it don't matter to me. You know, it just doesn't really make any fucking sense. Especially the toilet paper. Come on, still to this day. I just went to Dollar General today. They still have no toilet paper. Nobody. Brookshire's Dollar Joe and Family Dollar have no toilet paper in Jefferson, <laughs> which I find crazy. That's more crazier than the, the fact that they have no toilet paper is a lot more crazier than this whole uh, virus going on. Whatever the hell it is. Now, I will say this. Off topic of uh, <coughs> this coronavirus bullshit. 
the COVID-19. Sounds like a military operation. Um, right here, down here, that's a magazine called The Backwoodsman. I don't have, um, internet access other than what I get on my flip phone out on the homestead. And what little electricity we do generate, I really don't like to use it that much. But, uh, I like to get magazines like The Backwoodsman because of the fact that... <laughs> Uh, let's see, it's kind of hard to tell video, but, like, it gives you different topics of what they're going to talk about in this magazine, uh, strangeness in the high countries, packing the saddle gun, the hideaway workbench, knife handles 101, is your vehicle equipped for the backcountry, renovating an old axe and a better way to store dry food, and there's a lot more in it than what is on the, on the, uh, cover. I buy magazines like that. I have right now at least six issues of the Backwoodsman. And then I also buy other, uh, I guess you could say survival related stuff. Anything to do with like survivalism, homesteading, uh, anything with, what was it, bushcrafting and stuff like that. If there's a magazine of it, I'll buy it. A book, magazine, whatever. Because in my opinion, uh, being able to have knowledge, the knowledge in your hand, especially in a book or magazines, but, but, but especially a book, especially when you have no electricity, it, to me, that's a lot better than having to, for example, like me, bike ride seven miles for an hour into town, which, I don't get me wrong, I actually enjoy it, but still just to go somewhere with good Wi-Fi to look up something and then have to come all the way back out here to do it. You know, that kind of, uh, kind of put the strain on you, you know? I mean, even doing this video right now, my back, I've been saying this for, what, a year and a half now? My back is always in fucking pain, and I don't know why. I'm pretty sure it's just all the shit I carry, but still. Um, anyway, so yeah. I always, always get, uh, the Backwoodsman magazine every chance I get, especially, uh, newer, newer issued ones, and if I could find other ones, that would be cool, uh, so, yeah, actually, y'all really should get the, the Backwoodsman's amazing, uh, some of the issues I have talk about, like, making, uh, a cabin out of wood pallets, but I think I left that issue actually in Lufkin, which, you know, stupid idea. Uh, other ones like uh, if surviving with trash you find in the woods or whatever because you know not everybody's a clean freak when they're in nature just all this different information it's really cool you know it's a shame that everybody thinks they have to resort to the internet <coughs> uh, let's see another thing is I was working on a, on a chicken coop come to find out there actually is an old chicken coop on another end of the property, and I just realized that the other day, so I, I have to wait for, uh, I gotta wait for my friend and his mother to come in tomorrow, because they're somewhere else right now, uh, to get their permission to move that chicken coop over towards us, or at least towards me, because I'll have more time to deal with chickens if they'd let me do this, and, uh, you know, basically just get it done. <laughs> get her done! And then the the wood pallet I was working on, I can use that for whole, the shelter I'm trying to make. I don't know. It's just, it's been very, uh, I wouldn't say boring, but it's, it's really, it really is putting a strain on me because of the fact that, A, I really can't travel right now, and it has nothing to do with the homestead, it's more of the government bullshit going on, you know, uh, states shutting down, and quarantine, all that crap, Cause, I mean, literally, uh, what, what was it, uh, the shelter in place is basically quarantine, that's basically what it is, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's basically what it is. I'm pretty sure if I go out to any of these places, counties or states that are doing it, I'm pretty sure they're going to force me to do it. And I'm pretty sure they're going to force me into a homeless shelter, and I pray to God they don't, because I hate those places. Um, 
And then the problem is, is like, mo ever since this bullshit started, like, I, it wasn't even until about a week ago that now Jefferson's starting to lose tourists. And without tourists, there's no money coming in. If there's no money coming in, I can't find work. Outside of that, this rain's even making it a problem because I was supposed to be in Lufkin, like, two or three days ago to go do a job. To go be, I was going to go with my adopted sister and her parents and her grandmother. We were all going to go do a job uh, s somewhere in Angelina County to go tear a trailer house down, an old one, and I was, I was going to get paid for it. And I can't because the rain down there fucking sucks. So, yeah, I'm trying to keep busy. Uh, it's kind of hard to do videos because not a lot of interesting things are happening. I guess I can, I kind of should start doing more videos survival related. Uh, so, I am kind of sorry for that because I feel like I am kind of putting everybody down by not doing enough videos lately. But, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe a miracle will happen soon. I don't even know why I said that, but whatever. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.